Since its introduction over 10 years ago, the Apple II has proven to be a sturdy and persistent computer with a loyal following of devoted fans. There are now about four and a half million of them scattered around the world. But company support for the Apple II line, at least in the eyes of its owners, hasn't always been evident, as Apple President John Scully admits. Well, I think in many ways that Apple II users have felt abandoned by Apple because they haven't heard many messages from the top people in our organization to give them encouragement that the Apple II was important. And to be perfectly honest, this was a very conscious uh, direction on our part as we were trying to convince business users that Apple wasn't in the home computer business only, that we were also uh, able to provide very powerful business workstations. Without the success of the Macintosh in business, we couldn't afford the huge investment we have in research and development and the, the support of proprietary technologies for Macintosh and the Apple II. Today, the Apple II has become three machines, including the little changed 2E, the colorful 2GS, and the portable 2C+. But increasingly, the Apple II series appears to be headed in a different direction from the company's most powerful and expensive computer, the Macintosh. The best way to uh, really understand the two products is to look at the software bases that they have. The software base for the Apple II uh, is largely educational software, and enthusiast software and it continues to have a tremendous uh, amount of new software as well as many popular titles from the past. Uh, the Macintosh on the other hand from the start was a computer that was aimed at higher education, colleges, universities as well as business. Apple Computer has other reasons beside owner loyalty to keep the Apple II line moving forward. For one, it's a billion dollar industry all by itself and the machine has captured over 60% of the educational market. Moreover, the installed base is enough to keep users and suppliers busy for many more years. There are a lot of businesses that adopted the Apple II a long time ago that already had made the investment in Apple IIs, don't want to give up that investment. They have their files on, on Apple II computers, and so the Apple II GS has found its way into many small businesses. As with any other kind of computer product, the marketplace determines whether a computer will live or die. And John Scully believes that customers for the Apple II will be around for some time to come. We'll do everything we can to make the Macintosh uh, as powerful as we can, but it doesn't mean that there aren't people out there who like a stick shift, uh, who want to have the, the real feel of the, of the chips. And that's the experience that you get with an Apple II. You're close to the technology.